Hi, I'm Miss Mac. Thank you so much for coming to my virtual open house. Here's Millie. <laughs> She's so unhappy right now, but she wants to say hi. She's my TA during distance learning. Um, well, thank you for joining me, whether you're one of my current 10th grade honors students or maybe parents or family members, or maybe you're a ninth grader who wants to take English 10 honors next year and you're curious what we do. So I'm going to go through the slides that I shared on Google Classroom, or maybe your ninth grade English teacher shared them with you. And feel free to go through them at your own pace, or you can follow along with me. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm sure we're all getting used to doing this during distance learning now. <laughs> I know I am, but it's really strange as a teacher. Um, first off, I hope everyone is healthy and sane during distance learning. I know it can be extremely challenging and stressful. A big thank you to all of my students who are consistently turning in work and checking in and putting in all this effort. I appreciate you. You are absolutely awesome and keep doing what you're doing. So here's an overview of what we do in English Honors 10. We read three novels together, Persepolis, which is a graphic novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, which is the classic, and Brave New World, which is one of my favorites. And in addition, at the same time, students complete an independent reading assignment, and they have a certain theme or genre, depending. So with Persepolis, they read an additional graphic novel that's a narrative. And during second quarter with To Kill a Mockingbird, because To Kill a Mockingbird is both a classic novel and a banned novel because of language and violence and other things, they read an additional novel that's either classic or banned, like Catcher in the Rye or Great Gatsby or something like that. And then third quarter, they read an additional dystopian fiction book, which is my favorite genre. So I'm always happy to make recommendations. I'm reading Never Let Me Go right now, which is fantastic. Or they can also read another science fiction book. I'm cool with that. And then the assessments per quarter vary. In the fall, students create their own narrative graphic novel. They tell a story about themselves through image. They were fantastic this year. I was so proud. And later on, usually in groups, but they can work by themselves, student design and present their own dystopian or utopian society after reading Brave New World and doing a lot of research. And those are really fun. That was the last thing we did before distance learning started. So that was a nice last memory. And obviously we write essays, it's honors English. So students compose an argumentative paper about To Kill a Mockingbird and a responsive literature paper about Brave New World. So we definitely get practice with all of those genres of writing. And we also do a word of the week vocabulary and students are responsible for finding or using those words outside of class. So it's usually fun. Um, distance learning, what's been going on? If you just would like an update, um, a couple of things I do, I do a daily Mac challenge and students can post. It's usually just something light like today is, what is your favorite candy? And so students can either post on my Instagram or on a Padlet that I post on Google Classroom. And those students who are doing this, I love hearing from them. It's so nice. I know I can't see them face to face or in person, but this is the closest as we can get. Next best thing. And then students also wrote a research paper, a five to seven page research paper. I was so proud um, on the future of whatever aspect of our society they researched. So it could have been like artificial intelligence, renewable energy, food, video games, fashion, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, different like the borders, like how ocean erosion and things like that. And then they research it and extrapolate what that aspect of our world will look like in 30 years. And those were really strong. I've had, again, some of you for two years now, and I'm so impressed with your writing. Your citations were so much better. The research you um, found was incredible. The way you paraphrased it, integrated it. Great job. So much progress. Um, and what we're doing currently is our podcast unit, which is the first time I've done this unit. And so far, it's going pretty well. I'm really impressed that students are doing this pretty much on their own. And I'm getting some great products. So students listen to podcasts on their own, like an independent listening instead of independent reading this quarter to just kind of get an understanding of the genre, get some examples. And now students are creating their own podcasts and they've already done one and we have two more. And if you would like to see, you can go to the course website here, Quarantine Well, um, all their podcast series, students who are willing to share. Thank you. I, that's awesome. If you would like to share a podcast in the future, just let me know. I know some of them are personal or private. That's totally cool. But I hope everyone listens to at least one um, because I'm really proud of these kids and some of them are super slick. Um, other than that, I hope you are all doing well. Summer reading will be posted soon. I know you're all excited. Whether you're going into Honors 10 or going into AP Lang, you'll get that on the Marshall website. And we, we definitely simplified it a little bit, but still something to do. And I just want to thank you all for an amazing school year. Even though we're in this 
un, you know, just unimaginable situation. You have all been wonderful. And I'm sorry we couldn't finish for many of us our two years together, but I will see you as soon as we're able to be back on campus. And I miss you. Have a great summer. Reach out if you need anything. Millie says hi. Take care.